What's happening? It's Dark Knight, Dark Knight Radio. What's up, people? Back with another video. Now the story time. I guess you guys are tired of those. So I want to do a little ed- educational video, you know, to kind of expand the mind a little bit. Because somebody asked me a question today. They were like, well, how do you know when a girl likes you? How do you know when she's into you? And what gives you the confidence to talk to her randomly? Just to go up and, and, and say something and ask for a number. What I told is 12 things that you can go by. Not only if she likes you, but if you're in a relationship, how to tell if she's actually into you to the point where you want to continue a relationship. Because some people really don't know how much the opposite sex is into them. People really don't know until they know. So number one, how do I know when a girl likes me is the way she looks at me. Now, women are surface level creatures, which means they're not going to do a lot of stuff to compromise themselves. So therefore, a lot of women won't make the first move because of fear of rejection. A lot of men have that fear. So the way a woman looks at you is her way of her extending herself to let you know she's looking at you and she likes what she sees and the way they do it. They have a look. When a woman looks at me a certain way, I know I got her. It's like a wolf, like like predator-prey relationship. I just know. Mm-hmm. So the way she looks at you and also how frequently she looks at you. If every time you turn around, you keep catching her eye, or you may look down at your peripheral. You see her looking at your haircut or your shoes or your beard or your shoulders. Yeah, you just worked out, you know, the day before. Watch how she looks at you. Every time you turn around, she's looking. Then she looks away real quick. She likes you. I'm telling you, go talk to her. Number two is when you when you get a girl a number and she communicates. That may be the most important way of telling if a girl is really into you, the way she communicates with you. If a girl, okay, I dated a girl. Her name was Michelle. Okay, I can say her name because we, we, we didn't end on two bad terms. And Michelle used to call me first thing in the morning when she got off of work. She got, she got off of work around 6, 6.30, and she would call me 6.30, seven o'clock just to see how i was doing she would call me every day on her lunch break and she would make sure she called me or i talked to her right before she went to sleep so i know for a fact that i was on this girl's mind all day the first thing when she woke up in the morning and the last thing she thought of when she went to sleep and i and and, and i like that like that showed me that she actually wanted me it made a nigga feel good. I'm not going to cap you, right? So if a girl is texting you, she's calling you unprovoked, which means you're not calling her three times and she's not answering, but she calls you first and you may not have communicated yet that day and it's like 12 noon, it's 1 p.m. She calls you, hey, I just want to know what you're doing. Remember, the way a girl communicates with you tells you where you are with her in a relationship. Do not neglect that fact. If she's contacting you and she's calling you and texting you, do not take that for granted. Because girls easily get turned off and it's hard to get them back. Once, once, once they mind goes away from you, the energy is going to flow away from you and you're going to feel it to the point where you, you're going to be looking at something like, did, I, did my number change? my phone off? She's going to ghost you. And not just like on power. Number three, when a girl makes plans with you or she considers you in a plan. Remember what I just said about communication? If she says, you know, um, I want I want to go somewhere. Do you want to go with me? Or my friend is having a basketball game and I was wondering if you want to go with me or you know, um, you want to go to this wing spot or you want to go to the movies, it's on me. Or if she considers you if they have an outing with their friends and they want a double date, do not take that for granted. If she's doing that, she's into you. And don't waste time. Don't don't try to be the cool kid like I used to do. Now nah, I got plans. You know, I you know, uh, uh, Tommy, Tommy Power Four Force coming on. I got to see it. 
you know, I got me a sub coming from Uber Eats, so I can't make it. So make sure when she actually wants to be around you and wants to talk to you, be there. Don't be a square. Number four, touching and hitting. It's a plus. I just had I just had a debate with someone earlier today on my job, and she was like, I don't know, I'm too old to be doing that. That's kitty to me. No, it's not true. If a girl's touching you and she's hitting me, I told you about the surface happiness thing and the, the rejection. That's her way of telling you indirectly she wants you. And that's a physical touch. All right. So if she's touching you. She's playing with you. Maybe throwing stuff at you, pulling your hair, you know, you know, playing in your hair, grabbing your arm, grabbing your thigh, trying to see how look. If she just touched, I'm telling you, touch is very, very important. She's hitting you, playing with you. She'll look for any reason to touch you. She likes you. She's digging. All right? Number five. If she likes to explore a deep conversation with you for long periods of time, whether it be in person or on the phone, or when she when you're talking to her through text and she's sending those long paragraphs, she likes you. A girl would not waste their time. Women are more they're more keen on wasting their time than men right they always they always being sneaky <laughs> no, just playing. No, not really but they always they're always looking for the next you know what i'm saying mind to absorb the next simp to get so they're mindful of their time right and they're not going to give you that if they feel like you're not worth it especially conversation okay Women are very, very cognizant of what kind of vulnerability they're in, especially mentally. If they're sharing deep secrets with you, that's very, that's, that's big, that's important. Do not take, don't take that for granted. If she's sharing stuff with you about her past, you know, things she did, if she, if, if, if she ever cheated about life, about where she wanted to go in life, her, her talents, You know, stuff she may be embarrassed to tell people, any insecurities, improprieties. I'm telling you, if she tells you that and y'all are spoiling deep conversation for hours on the phone or in person and she's looking at you in the eyes, that's big. She's into you because women do not do that. You know, trust me. Number six, she want to be her best and look her best around you. If you're dating a girl... And it's past the infatuation phase. And she kind of letting herself go. Now that now that's a caveat, cause that could be that could mean she's comfortable. But when a girl wanna look her best, every time you go out, she's got the makeup done, the hair done, nails, she's smelling good, looking good. She may come over for a movie night. What's she gonna do? She's gonna make sure she got that fresh out the shower scent, out the shower aura. The shampoo is gonna you gonna smell the shampoo in the hair. You gonna smell the the body works, the the body oils on her shirt and in the skin on her neck. And then you go and lean in and give her a hug or a kiss. You can smell it on her neck. And the combination from the shampoo and the body oils and the body rug it, it, it combines. So when you hit the neck, you bend down, you make. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. When she smells her best, her friend looks her best. Somebody told me every time a girl go over do how she gonna always make sure that she wear a proper pair of panties. Because I'm 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 used to the um to the Victoria Pink line. I've I've seen the whole <laughs> I've seen the whole line. We grow. Come on, man. It's Dark Knight Radio, man. Come on now. Come on, y'all. I know a lot of y'all dudes out here. Don't seen a lot of Victoria Pink thongs and underwear. And you women don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all only wear a specific uh, lingerie when you, when you have movie nights going over a nigga house. That's not cap now. It's dark night. I'm your nephew. Don't don't play with me now. But true facts, she, she's gonna always wanna be her best around. She's never gonna slack or lack around you. Not you're not gonna catch her slipping around you. You may you may say, baby, go get some wings real quick. When she come over, she's gonna be done up. And ain't no ain't no boogers gonna be in her nose. You kidding me? Ain't, ain't no ain't no no chicken gonna be in her teeth. Stop playing with them. I'm telling you. Moving on, man. Y'all, y'all don't know what's wrong with y'all tonight, baby. 
Number seven, she will stop other plans and adjust for you. And that's hard for a woman to do. If a woman got a plan with her, let's say little baby got a concert and they got tickets, right? And they was pre-ordered. Now, someone may say, no, I'm, I'm, I spent my money, I'm still going. But if she deviates from that plan just to be around you, she likes your big head ass, your cricket teeth. So I'm telling you. If she say, you know what, I'm gonna just, I want to just hang out with Bay tonight. I'm telling you, if she if she deviates from plans, she might call off. You know, I'm gonna call off work day. I just I, I just want to be with Bay in the bed all day. Money, a woman turning down some money to be with. I'm I'm telling you. I don't want to go to school. Can I come over there all day? You know, we can eat and just lay up. I don't want to go out with the girls tonight. I don't want to go to book. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to go with them tonight. I want to be with you. Ain't it your best friend's birthday? Your sister? Nah, I don't know. I don't want to be around. I just want to be with you. If she do that, she she might be in love. You might be putting it down. How you put? You might be handling your business out here. Stop playing, but peep game. Number eight, she would tell her best friends and family members about you. She's going to mention you. She's going to speak of you to other people. Do not neglect when a girl tells other people about you, she wants the word to be known. She want to she spread your thin. She wants people to know this minds. He's doing it for me. He's putting it down right. He's a man. He's teaching. He's leading. The nigga know how to dress. He's a gentleman. Chivalry, chivalry is not dead. He work at Family Dollar, but the, but the nigga got some style about him. When you, when you can go and you and it's aforementioned, you go around people. Are oh, you Dwight? I mean, are oh, 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 you Sam? Are oh, you Re- Rashad? Are oh, you Morel? <laughs> they gonna know. Are oh, you Jimmy? You David? They're gonna know. You're gonna know. When when that happens, you're gonna know, okay, 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 I must be doing it. You know, she she's mentioning me to the friends, to the family, okay. I, I must be doing a good job with her. Shout out to everybody I just named to you know who you are, and I appreciate you for listening. Big bro Ken, you too. Now, thanks for the text message too, boy. And she's telling people, she's talking about you, man. You get to a spot and she's not even around. I said, man, so all she do is talk about you. She's fit. She's digging. Number nine. We move, we move it amicably. Number nine. <laughs> she she would complete a task for you. Now, I've done this a lot. I've, I've, I've been doing so. I say, look, I'm about to do this. Can you have, I'm, I'm going to give you this. When, you know, when they call you, go over there and pick that up for me. I've done that, and they've been down. When a girl say, "What you, damn, babe, I got, I gotta go to work. I got, I gotta go across town. But I gotta pick this up. No, nah, don't worry about it. I got it for you." Oh, she get ready to come over to your spot. What you want to eat? I love that. That's the best. I love that. That's the best thing ever. That's better than. That's better than money. When you about to have a movie night, right? And you and you didn't tell her to do it. She called you and said, I'm on my way. What you want to eat? Nigga, what? Come on, man. That's the best thing. What you, I'm, about, I'm driving past American Deli. You, you, want, you want a 10-piece hot with lemon pepper sprinkle with, with some lemon egg, no ice. And then they know what a nigga want. And she, and she get it. And then she, I got it. Damn, I ain't got no change on me. Don't worry about it. It's on me. Nigga, man, come on. Y'all playing, boy. Or, this, or she, may, she may say, Mom, I'm about to go home. I don't want to come see you real quick. I got those gummy bears you like. Nigga, man, come on. I, I got them gummy bears you like. Nah, you ain't, you ain't got the ones I like. The Black Forest, no sugar, no GMO. Nigga, man, come on, bro. We, I, I'm moving on, bro. I'm done, I'm done with that. I'm moving on. Number 10, man. She will not treat. This number 10. Listen closely. She will not and I repeat, she will, she will not treat you like a simp. I'm, 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 I'm let that marinate for a minute. She will not treat.
treat you like a simp. She will respect you. She's not, she's not going to bombard you asking you about money. It's not going to be do for me first. Everything is going to be neutral. She's going to actually do for you first. When she, when she respects you, that's important. If I'm showing you, okay, she's not, she's not asking about the money. You know, she just want to be around me. She ain't really tripping. She ain't, this relationship is not based off me doing for her. Okay, this might be the one. When she treats you with respect like a man you're supposed to be treated, she's not hassling you. She's not disrespecting you. She's not putting unwanted pressure on you. And she's and everybody's standing there lane, she likes you. Number 11. When she sexually open. Y'all know what I mean. When you can do some st- certain stuff to her that she may say, well, I haven't, she probably done it, but she may say, I haven't done this before. Or she busts it open for you. And you know what I'm talking about? You can do things. You do things to her in which you'd be, you'd be, you hate it for her next boyfriend. The stuff you do to her or with her. When she can go to that sexual level with you, and she's comfortable. After you're done, she's just laying down, go to sleep. She likes you. Moving on, number twelve, man. When she's down for you, no matter what, you can hit a lick with her. You work, you work, you work at Verizon. You say, "Baby, I got twelve. You know what I'm saying? I got the, I got a little hookup. I run you through the back, and she knows about it, and she helps you. She don't give an ultimatum. Stop this. Oh, I'm going to tell you. She know why you're doing it. To get some extra money, she with it. Because she want to see her man up. And it's up. And then it's up. And then it's up again. And she want that for you. She's not going to tell and snitch on you. You may come home bloody. Baby. <sighs> Baby. I just did something I ain't supposed to do. And, it, and it's red all on you. Red dripping down. You got a spouse and, you, and everything's bloody. Your, your, your boots are bloody. You got, you, you got red in your hair. She look at you and said, baby, give me give me the knife. Give me the gun. I'm going to hide it from me. Clean it. I'm going to take a shower. You're going to take a bath. I'm not going to call the police on you. I love you. You ain't going nowhere. They'll never know about this. You say, wait, wait, wait. I just finished painting outside of the house. I ain't, do, I ain't do nothing illegal. It's Dark Knight Radio. She's down for you, man. Tell me how you feel about this video. This, this I, I had fun making this video. I like this topic. When I was writing it down, I said, yeah, this is going to be a bad one. Y'all tell me how you feel about this one. It's Dark Knight Radio, man. You guys be good. Be safe.